The most vulnerable animals in our herd uh, are the cows around calving, especially the heifers around calving. Um, and they are uh, moved from uh, the group of dry cows to a box in which they are calving and within a week they are housed with the milking, uh, the milking cows and that's a lot of change and it's very important uh, they stay eating during that period. On our farm I feel our most uh, vulnerable animals are, are probably our pre-fresh and, and just fresh animals. They're at a very sensitive stage uh, in their uh, annual life cycle uh, as, as far as being very pregnant or, ju or just fresh and uh, because their metabolisms are a little different and changing at that particular time it's an area that we have to watch uh, very close. For the cows that I think that are uh, the most vulnerable are, are the cows that are coming from being a dry cow transitioning into being a, a lactating cow and um, that is when she uh, is at most risk for injury, that is when she has most risk for metabolic issues, and that uh, any, any cow that's uh, what I call a 60-day cull is the most expensive cull on the farm because she was all set up to have a lactation of milk. So uh, that, that is the, the area I think that you need to focus on the most. Pensando em perca de animais sensíveis, para mim o um fator mais importante é o uso de uma dieta balanceada. Uma vez ela não estando correta, esses animais caem num, numa, queda, numa queda imunológica. Caindo na imunologia das vacas, automaticamente eu começo a ter muitos problemas ligados à pneumonia, mastite e problemas de casco. Esses animais, quando acometidos, devem ser separados e cuidados separadamente. Se o número de animais começarem a ser muito alto, isso deve ser averiguado, pois pode ter outro problema também ocasionando essa queda, essa sensibilidade de animais. To avoid uh, losing sensitive animals, I think it's very important to have uh, a good separation area with a good bedding of uh, sand and we use straw, um, and it should work very easily. You should uh, easily uh, separate the cow to that area and also get her back uh, to the milking uh, parlor or milking robot. To avoid those losses of sensitive animals uh, in that pre-fresh and, and just fresh period, we've, uh, we keep people in that area monitoring the, the pre-fresh cows to watch them for when they are ready to have their calves, uh, to give them aid um, during the calving process if, if they're ha experiencing difficulty. Uh, the fresh cows were, we are temping on a daily basis temping and, and checking for displaced abomasums and, and things like that, watching for sunken eyes, watching for uh, uh, feed intake, things like that. Uh, daily basis, round the clock, we have people uh, on staff that, that are in charge of watching those animals. So in my mind, sensitive animals would be transition cows primarily. Uh, so you, you need adequate bunk space, you need good floor surfaces, you need comfortable uh, laying environment, adequate laying environment, uh, preferably smaller groups so they can get through the parlor quicker, and uh, good, good cow cooling because uh, they're at a you know, high stress time of their life, out, specifically after they've had a calf and, and they've got a lot of metabol metabolic things going on in their body.